right y'all good morning welcome back to another video welcome back to the channel oh we just got loaded headed to ohio uh, i think we got like 42,000 pounds Yeah, we got like 42,000 pounds. Going back to the same guy that I went to yesterday. I did a split load yesterday. The guy I'm going to has a dock, so. I don't have to unload the truck. It's a pretty big spot that I'm going to. So that's the reason why I got it loaded the way I do. They're in the front, doubler is cool. And then uh, we got to pick up in Grand Rapids, Ohio. And bring it back. I'm gonna try to get loaded in Grand Rapids tonight. Mother. I'm gonna try to get loaded in Grand Rapids tonight, is the plan. And then start heading home. Cause we don't deliver, we deliver tomorrow at one, but I gotta reload tomorrow at five, which is freaking stupid. So I probably won't drop this load until five. It'll probably be more around like four. When I drop this load and get loaded at five tomorrow for my Friday load, which I am headed to Missouri Friday. So we don't check our weight because we're full of fuel now. change these out these are glass now and I put my old ones from up there and I put them down here changing up little things here and there we'll probably get to our guy around around three o'clock cuz I'm taking the long way to avoid paying tolls because I don't see a point in paying tolls when I can get around the tolls and I'll just take the extra little time to get around the tolls. But I'm not too worried about scales because the first scale I pass, to it, pass, it won't be for a while. But just in case, Let's check our uh, weight and see where we're at. Shouldn't be too heavy on the trailer at all. Yeah, I didn't think so. 34 on the trailer. That's all I'm worried about is the trailer anyways. So with the way I got my fifth wheel slid now, I don't have to ever really worry about the truck as long as it's loaded, right? Seventy-eight. Yeah, 78, 380, I'll call it.
let's get to it six hour ride all the way there i got no reason to stop so we gonna keep our door closed and we gonna head all the way there y'all we have made it to sunrise seed <clears throat> gotta get back down to the dock over here like i said before if i did mention it i was literally here yesterday no not yesterday monday and it is now wednesday so it's one of those type of deals So get our doors open and uh get bagged in and get unloaded it's definitely colder than it was on monday that's for sure jesus christ <sighs> drop my bags on the trailer Easy, simple back end. Oh, I'm gonna do it without shoes on. definitely going straight towards that pole but not like to rip a door off that's a bad day oh that's a little close Guess today's just one of those days. You know, when you have those days where you just like the easiest backup ever, and you just can't, that you should, you know, one of those backup that you should just get the first, first try. And for some reason it takes you more than just the first try for some super reason. Guess today's just one of those days. pull up again so I can get straight with the freaking dock 
don't know what's up with me today. Go get unloaded all right y'all well we made it we're here getting loaded which i wasn't supposed to load this until the morning so we made it just in time as you can see nobody here but me so they're loading me up now only got 13 boxes like 41,000 pounds somewhere around there so get loaded uh i need to check my nah it'll it'll handle itself it's gonna say i need to check my elt but it'll 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 handle itself but uh we don't get out of here uh i'm debating on what i really want to do i'm really in no rush to get home so i'm gonna probably just drive and just stop somewhere i don't know where but somewhere i don't really care about footing it all tonight i could get pretty much all the way home tonight if i felt like it i'm only five hours and some change away so I could get really close. I could get within an hour, and that's within my miles range. So I could get home tonight if I wanted to, but I'm not stressing because this load don't deliver till one o'clock in the morning, and my preload don't pick up till five. So I don't want to go there early to have to go home to come back again at five. So I'm just going to deliver this at like three, and then get reloaded at like four. So it's kind of the plan, but oh, took a lot to get here, but we made it. We made it, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop somewhere. I don't know where yet, but I'll figure that out as I get driving. But we'll see how long this takes. All right, y'all. Well, we're parked at this used to be TA that's now uh, Fuel King here in Ohio. As you can see, the reason why I park here because there's like literally besides me, there's one truck there, one truck there, and one truck there. That's it. It stays pretty quiet over here, which is what I like. And it really doesn't start getting too packed until the five truck stops across the highway get packed. I think it's a Loves over there, a Pilot over there. Um, what else is over there? Petro, 
and something else. There's another truck stop over there. It's like four or five of them across the street. Those get packed first, and then people start funneling over this way. So if I stay over this way, this is where I stay at. But I just ordered some food, and I'm going to relax, and I'll catch you guys in the morning. this happened before we'll talk about it but I'm at the scale house got pulled out of the truck not for a ticket though which is uh weird but let me get everything back together and uh I'll tell you guys about it all right y'all well let's talk about why I got pulled into the scale house so rolled over the scale because I know I'm legal and he had me back up and he checked both of my axles separately on the spread which is the first time i've ever had that happen right i get that they're twenty thousand pound axles each which gives me my forty thousand pounds he pulled me in the scale office because one of my axles weighed eighteen thousand and the other one weighed at like, I think like 12 or 13,000. But that's also because I don't have a full load loaded trailer. I'm not loaded all the way. I don't even think my load's over that back axle at all. So of course my front axle is going to weigh more than my back axle, right? So he pulled me into the scale office to ask me if my trailer had an air issue because they weighed differently and i was like no the trailer doesn't have an air issue i was like i don't have a full load of trailer my load stops basically right after my front axle or like right over my front axle on the trailer so of course it's going to weigh more than the back axle and he's like oh i just wanted to let you know because if you were to get loaded fully you might be over here. well no I, I wouldn't be because once you load it all the way back it'll give me you know my 40 uh, thousand you know the re there's a it's like it, it kind of explains itself why my front axle weighs more than my back axle now i don't know if maybe he thought i had a full load on the truck or something but even still there's no reason for him to pull me in the scale house besides to waste my freaking time if i'm not over my twenty thousand pounds per axle so i don't know uh, scale house guys always get me you know i get he's trying to be i guess helpful just in case i did have an issue but 
don't waste my time and pull me out of the truck. Wait, make me wait behind another guy that you're giving a citation when you could have just explained to me, hey, your front axle weighs more than your back axle, you're still legal, I just wanted to let you know just in case you have an issue and been done with it. Instead of make me wait 20 minutes behind another guy to explain that to me, for me to explain him simply, I don't have a full load on the trailer and been done with it. I don't, I don't understand it. They're literally around just to waste your freaking time. But that's the long story short. I've never got pulled into a scale house because one axle weighs more than the other even though it's legal like there's really li literally no reason for him to pull me in the scale house but whatever uh we got an hour and a half to go so we gonna keep on pushing but i thought i should uh let you guys know that like i get i got twenty thousand pounds per each axle on the spread but if one weighs more than the, weighs more than the other does it really make a difference because i'm still legal it shouldn't make a difference to him whether i have an issue or not it's just a waste of time all right we have made it so we can get unloaded well, well unloaded and reloaded i gotta load for friday I guess I never unlocked my box. But we got a bag in the 28 over here, which is between these cars, which I don't understand why they park like that. Cars have been hit over here multiple times, right around this door. Last year, year before that, I don't think any has been hit this year yet that I know of. But uh, you would think they would learn a lesson. They got all the parking in the world in the back of the building that they could park at, but they all decide to park where they can be hit. But what do I know? I'm just a truck driver, right? that's all we picked up i don't think i ever showed you guys what we picked up which is why when we go back to the whole um my front axle weighing more than my back axle because my freight stops right on top of my front axle so of course my back axle is going to be light so scale house security guards as i call them because that's pretty much all they are. They have nothing else better to do but to waste your fucking time. I can understand if I was overweight or something like that, but I'm not. So, just there to waste your time. Oh. See, I got poles over here that I can't forget about, and I got cars on the other side. because I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to pull up differently most definitely probably uh, maybe not window down because I got a glare let's pull up straight so I can see 
where I'm at. Okay, I'm not too bad. Just like the miss this concrete block that they got over here too. And I'm a little close to it. A little closer than I'd like to be. Yeah, we're gonna redo that. There's a reason why that pole is like that. All right. Let's cut it a little closer. tear our truck up on these freaking bowls. Nope. I don't like that either. Let's try this again. Absolutely hate this freaking door only because they make it challenging for you for no freaking reason like I understand the poles because the fire hydrants there and also because somebody's taken out the fire hydrant before but if these freaking cars weren't here it wouldn't be that bad and that freaking cinder block. But they put the cinder block there because somebody's taking out the freaking steps. There we go. It's a lot more difficult than it needs to be. Got a cinder block over here. You got cars on both sides. You got poles to try to miss. I can't even tell if I'm centered, but I don't really give a crap right now. I'm just over it. There we go. We're gonna call that good. Now we gotta get out and dump the trailer bags. And then we can go get unloaded, reload it, and go home. Get a shower. Oh. That's good enough. Yeah, I'm a little crooked, but it works. All right, let's go get unloaded. All right, y'all. Well, fast forward a little bit. Literally, like. I don't know, 15 minutes because I only had 13 on the truck and they only put 10 on, well, nine on. So I'm very light for my Friday load going down to Missouri. 
So, with that being said, I'm going to end it here. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Check out all the Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff. If you want to communicate, Amazon links are in the bio. Merch link is in the bio. And if you made it this far, the question for this video is if you could haul anything, no matter if it's realistic, fiction, whatever, I don't care. If you could haul anything, what would be your dream haul? That, that's going to be my thing. Or if you want to put it this way, if you're out in the trucking world and you're currently driving for a company or whatever, what is your dream job in trucking? Or if you're an owner op or whatever and you're out there doing trucking and you're not exactly doing what you want to do, what is your dream job in trucking? What do you want to haul? What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Yeah, I hope you guys liked it. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.